students welcome back this video is a lecture on the poem still another view of grace by ak ramanujan ak ramanujan was an indian poet and scholar of indian literature who wrote in both english and kannada he was a poet scholar professor a philologist translator and playwright he was a teacher by profession and obtained his phd in english from indiana university in the usa in english four of his poetry books have been published the striders relations the interior landscape and speaking of shiva ramanujan's poems mostly deal with the conflict between modern liberal western outlook and conservative indian thoughts and beliefs rooted in age old customs practices and prejudices his poetry projects the psychological dilemma that the progressive liberal indian mind goes through which finds it hard to disregard and shun the traditional beliefs customs and culture altogether still another view of grace is a poem from the collection the striders published in 1966 the subject revolves around the conflict between the speaker's burning physical desires for sex on one hand and his deep rooted conservatism and cultural prejudices an outcome of his brahminical family heritage on the other the poem opens with a striking boldness as the speaker frankly admits of burning with sexual passion as he hesitates at the thought of consummating his love his carnal desires from within ask him to throw away a gentleman's morals about abstaining from physical love making the speaker remarks but one day i turned and caught that thought by the screams of her hair and said beware do not follow a gentleman's morals with that absurd determined air in these lines sexual desire is personified as a woman and the speaker catching her by the screams of her hair is his forceful attempt to suppress his burning desires within but desires do not get so easily suppressed gentleman's morals refers to the traditional indian values and morals which prohibit the speaker from indulging in immediate sexual fulfillment the speaker's conservative and orthodox self lectures on the necessity of a religiously sanctified marriage and the need to marry only for the purpose of producing legitimate male offspring the speaker says find a priest find any beast in the wind for a husband he will give a houseful of legitimate sons the speaker's brahminical family background and traditional indian ethics consider having sex outside a religion and society certified marriage a sin he declares that sexual passion cannot tempt him to commit this sin through any kind of treason or conspiracy the very thought of lust makes him shudder to the bone at hungers that roam the street obviously hungers here suggest sexual longings inside the speaker which crave for immediate fulfillment but get restrained by his gentleman's morals the reference to the constable's beat suggests the silent darkness of the april night which can be linked to the speaker's dark desires his bodily hungers roaming in the dark alleys of his mind the end of the poem however declares the triumph of carnal passions over conventional indian morals and ethos as the speaker's woman appears before him at night the conservative values and ethics of the older generations of his forefathers lose their hold on the speaker's mind commandments crumbled in my father's past 
The woman, presumably a prostitute looking for customers on the April night, comes close and looks at the speaker. The speaker feels sexually attracted to her as her tumbled hair feels like silk in his hand. The speaker remarks at the end, I shook a little and took her behind the laws of my land. He trembles, not only out of sexual excitement, but out of a nervous fear as he attempts to throw away the moral preachings of his forefathers and the cultural values and ethos of his country. Thus, ignoring the established traditional ethics and morals, the speaker finally succumbs to his sexual desire and engage in physical lovemaking with the woman. A short poem of 17 lines, still another view of grace, strikes us with Ramanujan's typical metaphoric diction and his play with words. Economy, precision and brevity are Ramanujan's characteristics and his apparently simple and prosaic language is fraught with underlying suggestions in every word and phrase. There is a dramatic element in the poem, in its colloquial, conversational style, in the depiction of an ongoing mental conflict and moral dilemma, and in the anticipation of the final climactic moment towards the end. Playing upon suggestive and evocative words and employing metaphoric language, the poem captivates the reader with its modernistic approach towards a culturally sensitive issue.